If you're looking at the screen, it says, How do I increase my artist's website online traffic? This is Lloyd Dobson coming to you from Southwest Florida. Technology has rapidly grown, and as artists, we must take advantage of this media to grow our art business. Knowing how to market is the key to any business, including art. With access to the computer, we can develop an internet address, and with some additional training, can dominate the digital real estate out there. You see, it doesn't matter what business you're in. Every business need only two things. They need traffic and they need conversions, period. So what better way to drive targeted traffic to your art than the internet? Many artists who maintain a website do not take advantage of the internet's capability. I have hundreds of content all over the internet. And here are a couple of examples of Google page number one ranking as of this date. Now this example here, the keywords are oil paintings by Siesta Key, Sarasota Artists. And there are 68,100 competitive search results for those keywords. And I'm ranked on page number one, position number one, obviously driving traffic to me. The keywords for this one is where to buy original art in Siesta Key, Sarasota area. And again, I'm ranked page number one in position number one, two, and three. That's 30% of the digital real estate for those keywords. And there's something like 1,780,000 competitive search results for those keywords. All this designed to drive traffic to you. And like I alluded to, you need two things. You need traffic and you need conversions. Most artists simply put their art online and do little more than wait and see what happens. The whole point of having a website is to use it to spread the word about your art and to broaden your audience, right? The main reason why you're online in the first place is to show your work to as many people as possible. The good news is that any artist can actively increase the reach of their website. One of the greatest advantages of the internet and one that artists consistently overlook is that complete strangers can land on your website or discover you and your art entirely by chance or accident. Most artists tell me that people find their websites not by chance or accident, but rather by searching artists' names directly on search engines. Once again, demonstrating that artists' website audience, audience consists mainly of people who've already heard or read or know about them, rather than as a result of incidental encounters. So now I'm going to share with you a few tips that I use to market my art and remember exposure is extremely important getting in front of the potential customer is one of the keys to success the first thing I would suggest is to integrate your artist's website with your art career strategy don't underestimate the importance of physical shows in your local community be sure to regularly update your website with the same information upcoming shows latest work and so forth and include links in your email so that people can click through to the pages which tell them about the new work or events. The second thing that you want to do is optimize your website for search engines. Search engines like Google and Bing can help a lot to bring new potential buyers to your artist's website. This is especially true if you sell lower cost small artwork or reproductions in the $50 to $200 range, which can attract gift and tourist market buyers. The third thing I would suggest is to use social networking to increase your visits. There are many uh, social networking sites online today, and our experience focus first on building a presence on Facebook. Set up a Facebook page for your art business. This needs to be in addition to your personal uh, Facebook profile page. Post your latest artworks and updates there regularly and invite others to visit your website. 
Another suggestion is to join free or low-cost online galleries. Your own artist's website should always be the place where you bring people to see your work. This is because it is here that you have the most control over the presentation and information flow. With that said, online galleries can be a great way to get your flag out in places that people can find you. The most important point is to always include a link back to your own artist's website so the visitors have the option to visit your artist's website. And oh yes, personal networking. This is the most powerful way to do anything, but it's also the one many of us seem to avoid the most. Make a point of talking with five new people each time and be the artist. Share your business card which must have your website URL on it, obviously. Nurture the relationships and friendships that develop with artists and arts professionals. And one final point, be consistent. Consistency is king. It is much better to do a little consistently every week that to do a, than to do a handful of mad dash all-inclusive efforts each year. Rome wasn't built in a day. It was built brick by brick, so it is with your art career as well. Now, if you'd like some additional marketing information, tools, and strategies to grow your art website online business, visit the following website, InspireBlueWaveWebsiteBlogTraining.com. On my website, I have a lot of additional video training and articles concerning growing your art business. So again, I personally invite you to Inspire Blue Wave website blog training dot com. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, just click the link in the description area underneath this video and I'll catch you inside.